Hi, I'm Andrew. Today we'd like to teach you how to find the mass percents of zinc, nitrogen, and oxygen in zinc nitrate. Take a look at the following table. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the total mass. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements in the compound. So we've got zinc, nitrogen, and oxygen. Then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript there, just put in a one. So we have one zinc. We have one nitrogen, but careful. It's part of the nitrate polyatomic anion, and we really have two of those anions. So we have actually two nitrogens. In other words, just simply take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer to find the total. Then for oxygen, just do that multiplication so you get six oxygens. Then you're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each. These masses are always found on the periodic table. So zinc's mass is going to be 65.38, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them down. 65.38 for zinc. Nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So that's 65.38 units of mass for zinc. Nitrogen is going to be 28.02. Oxygen then is going to be 96. 96. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add up all the total masses of all the individual elements. So this is going to work out to be 189.40. And there you have it. That was the total mass. That's the first step. Now that we have that total mass, I'm going to add a column to the table to help us find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So to find the mass percent of zinc, take the total mass of the zinc, the 65.38 units, and then divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, 189.40. That's why we had to do that first, okay? And then simply calculate. That's going to be 34. That's going to be 34.52%. That's the percent of zinc. How did that turn into a triangle? There you go. Uh, nitrogen. Take the total mass now of the nitrogen, the 28.02, 28.02, divided them by the total mass of that entire compound, 189.40. Don't worry about the units, by the way. They're all going to cancel. Whatever units you use, they're all going to be the same. So who cares? So 14.79%. That's going to be the percent now for nitrogen. Oxygen, same thing. It's going to be 96 divided by the total mass of that compound, 189.40. You see how fast this can go with a ton of practice? All right, that's it. There's no difference between how well I can do this and how well you can do it. You can do it just as well, maybe even better. It just takes a lot of practice. Simply check yourself now by just adding this column on up. It should be equal to 100%. And who's happier than you that we're now done with this particular problem, right? Right. See you soon.